Most people think of Florida as being really flat. But we are at one of the highest points in Florida. I just happen to have a waterfall. Let's go down that road. Let's see if we can get the right angle for lighting here. Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. In the shadows. We gotta get you out of the shadows. Well, I'm still Gary. Yes, you are. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> I can see your face. Not only is this the highest point in the state of Florida, we're at what, uh, 322 feet above sea level, I think it was. I'll double check. I'll put a correction up above if I'm wrong. This is the tallest waterfall in the state. How often do you even think of waterfalls in Florida? This is kind of a hidden gem. There's hardly anybody here today. It is a little cool today. We went to about a 20 degree temperature drop, 20 to 25 degrees the last couple of days. It's going to start warming up again tomorrow. But today we're in the 50s. Uh, and this is just gorgeous. We just had to stop and see it. One of the reasons we also stopped here was because we were going to dump our tanks at the same time. We called ahead and we got here and we were told the campground's closed. They're doing renovations and we weren't able to dump our tanks. Now we still have to do that. But we're gonna enjoy the park while we can. And the lady was so nice. She didn't charge us to even come in. It would have only been $5 to come in, but um, she did not charge us. She didn't feel it was right because she remembered the phone call. She was in the background when the phone call came in asking about the dump stash about the dump station so that was pretty sweet this is our last state park before heading to alabama falling water state park park development started in 1963 on this hill which has an elevation of 322 feet and a limestone base a stream flowing from the hill plunges over a cliff and disappears through an underground channel some sinks and caverns are near the falls, which powered an early grist mill. A pioneer era whiskey distillery was nearby. Indians and others mined the area for colorfully pigmented rocks used in making paints and dyes. The area was the scene of early oil drilling efforts, as well as the site of a one-room school and a large horticultural nursery. See other side. Ooh, okay, there's more. And this talks about the local advisory council and members during the initial development. This is our last stop, our last state park in Florida. In Florida. In Florida. <laughs> and we had a cold spell for two days, so we are wearing heavier jackets today, which we haven't needed at all. Temperatures are about 20 degrees cooler, 20 to 25 degrees cooler. This is a part of our preparation and training for what is to come. <laughs> we are on our way north. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll tell you more about why we're going back so early. Uh, normally, we would not be going back until probably May is the soonest we go back. We're going back about uh, a month and a half early. I don't know when this video is going to get up. By the time you see this, we are probably going to be in Wisconsin again. Um, our daughter had her twin babies in February. Kind of the way we thought it would happen. We kind of suspected that was going to happen. That she'd go early. There were some complications before, during, and after for her and the babies. Everybody's good now. Thank God. <laughs> we were doing a lot of praying. Yeah. Uh, there's just been a lot of a lot of factors it playing into all of this that we just uh, <sighs> yeah that we need to get up there now. Um, our son, our oldest son, has been having some health issues. Uh, 
all winter. I've been doctoring and trying to get answers. Can't find answers. We're trying to figure things out. Talking to them over the phone. And anyway, there's a lot of reasons to get back. So this is our last chance for Florida. And this is called Falling Waters State Park. We came here, oh, I see some waterfalls. We came here because it has rained recently and we were told that when it rains, it pours. <laughs> we're gonna go down below where we can see better. The tallest waterfall in the whole state of Florida. Next time it's in the this way. Thank you, and bless you see you Oh. Oh, that's, that part is closed. Boardwalk closed, do not cross. Lake, oh, so we can't go to the lake from here. We gotta find a different way to go to the lake. The waterfall itself is about 73 feet. There is a sinkhole down below and then it goes down into some underground caverns as you can see in the picture. The best time to see this is after a rainfall because there are times when it can be totally dry. And we just happened to have rain the last couple of days. Perfect. another sinkhole. I wonder if that ever gets uh, water running down on that from up above somewhere. Mm. I suppose during a, a really bad thunderstorm or something it maybe does. Yeah. And there's another sinkhole. Falling Water State Park is near other, it's near some caverns. See the bottom? And another sinkhole. I don't know if you can see how... Can't, it's hard to tell how deep these go. One of these trails is supposed to take us to a lake. The one boardwalk was closed. This may have taken its place, we're not sure. Or maybe this is just a dead end, we're not sure. Looks like it might be a dead end. That's all right, let's see what's over there. More sinkholes. Yeah, I'm getting kind of nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, look how deep that one goes. Wow. Oh my word. That one really goes down deep. And then there's another one. 
over there. And there's another one over there. Yeah, it's probably just got little land covering parts of them. Ah. So you wonder how long this is going to be the highest part of Florida. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's been here for a long time. We're going to go with that. I can't get over all the magnolia. I think these are magnolia trees. Look like. But they don't have... I think the leaves are bigger. These are bigger than a normal... I think they're bigger than magnolia. Yeah. Anybody know what these are? They look kind of like a magnolia leaf, but there's no blossoms anywhere, and there's a lot of them here. And they're very tall. That, my friends, in case you didn't know, is a bat house, which means that there's probably very few mosquitoes here in the summertime. <laughs> Look how thin that is, and it probably holds hundreds of bats. Amazing. This is a really nice picnic area in this whole place where the waterfalls, water, where the waterfall trail is, and then they have this playground. And we wanted to just see what the view is up ahead. Oh, Gary's coming back already. Must not be able to see much. Look at the size of these pine cones. Wow! That's about a size six shoe, maybe. I'm an eight and a half. <laughs> Goodness, wow. I should get a bunch of these and make them in the little Christmas trees at Christmas time. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that must mean we are underneath a long leaf pine. This is on the edge of the playground. We're walking on limestone here. You can see that. Oh, this would be a pretty place for an observation tower. A little valley over there. That's not one of the trails. It's tempting. Guessing that those trees could be magnolias, but the leaves seem different. But there they are. I, you just don't usually see them this big. <laughs> That's the difference between growing in the wild and growing in someone's yard. Can you imagine how fragrant this will be when those are all blooming? Oh, how awesome that would be. They're all over. There's another one right there. Oh, full of blossoms. That will smell heavenly. These are evidently the wild azaleas because it's the only thing around here that matched the description. They can grow up to 15 feet tall. Oh my goodness, when the magnolias and the azaleas are blooming at the same time. Ah! We gotta come back in the spring. Well, it is spring, kind of. Hi, little fella. Hi. 
You're a baby alligator, right? We'll go so. with that. Yeah. yeah. We'll just say you're a baby alligator. <laughs> you're so cute. Boy, talk about a pose. <laughs> you gonna make a move? Is it real? Well, sure it's real. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. He's just coming. You wanna stay in the sun? I don't wanna go in the shade. You're chasing me to the shade. Well, that was a nice little diversion. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so now. Leave us a comment. We love hearing from you. Check out our Facebook page, Roads of Faith. And until next time, God bless. God bless.